Hello and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Space Exploration. Here I am back on Norvis and I'm about ready for my um, quick jaunt off to Tulip I think. Let's have a quick think, have a quick look at what we've done up here. So we know about these, this train issue and it's actually slightly frustrating if it hadn't been for me messing up the trains here and not giving them a fuel supply. I wouldn't even need to go up this time because everything I want to do is inside the, the catchment area of the bots. So I've, as you can see I've started building this. There's a few gaps in the in the, in the the um, in it because I ran out of things. But basically most of the stuff is either built or could be built by me shoving stuff in the rocket. The only exception is these damn, sorting out these damn trains up here. And the only thing I need to do in order to get them fixed is run another belt from the coal probably from here up across and then into here and it'll, it'll refuel them all but no I didn't organize it properly because I'm a muppet <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go up and, and actually sort this sort this out manually um, there's a bit of damage up here as well which is this is this will be from me yeah these meteorites so I, 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 it's not entirely a bad thing because I can go out and give everything a check over and I thought the next um, coronal mass ejection is, Amy, is, is going for Tulip as well so I thought I don't have I'm not realistically going to be able to go out and set up something that will defend against it because um, 0.78 gigawatts is something like um, 100, I think it's 130 uh, turbines worth of power and I've got about 50 turbines up there I think or is it maybe it's even 100 either way it's not quite enough um, but I, I reckon I reckon it'd probably be about a third. But now now I'm thinking about it. I can't let me let me stop rambling and check how many turbines I've got. Eighty. Okay, so I've got about almost no more than half the number I need. So the, the turbines could deal with more than half of it. And then I'm going to whack down about two hundred accumulators as well to give me a little bit more of a boost, in the hopes that that'll be enough to. to and actually, thinking about it, it might just almost be enough. So the the twenty thousand turbines, sorry, the twenty, the two hundred accumulators isn't going to be remotely enough. I need about twelve thousand to protect against the entire thing, uh, the entire sixty-two gigajoules. But if I've got the turbines taking up most of the most of the um, peak peak power available, then there might actually only be a relatively short time when the peak is is high enough that I need to use the accumulators. So I'm going to cross my fingers and hope for the best. It's 14 hours off, so it's 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 going to be a while, and I'm going to have completely forgotten about it by the time it happens. But yeah, we'll we'll see. So how many? Uh, let's grab another 150. There we go. So I've got uh, 350 accumulators, and I'm going to take some more pylons as well, given that. Okay, so let's go to Tulip, land on the landing pad. Yep, that looks okay. I've got the um, rocket parts in order to get me back again, so that's okay. And for some reason I've got two of those. I don't want two. Um, <laughs> apparently there's no inventory. No, and I've got loads of these defense guns. I've got them in my inventory as well for some reason. Okay, let's head over there and uh, we'll get all of this built up. Oh, I forgot to unwire it again. Stop doing that. Oh well, never mind. Hopefully the stuff that's gone in there is stuff that's actually useful. So, back off to Tulip again. Nice pretty green planet. And we'll see now that uh, unloads everything like that as expected. I can take out the these packs, put them in there, take out these, put them in there all the rest of them as well. <laughs> That's quite a lot of rocket parts. How do I tell this to stop when it's got enough? How's it doing? It's got four, it's got about halfway, okay. Let's take them back out of there for now. Um, and try and be a little bit more in control here. Oh, I didn't set these up with the uh, to blacklist rather than whitelist. There we go. So now those will unload all of the stuff from in here automatically. The construction bots will go off and do what they can do. So while they're doing that, I can build up the rail the uh, the coal supply. Uh, but I'm not going to cross over there because I can't. I'd forgotten how wood, how much woodland there is on this planet, and therefore how difficult that makes building things. I say difficult, it's not actually difficult because I've got bots to do all the hard work for me, but I need to remember to hold down shift and it's slightly fiddly to notice where they've where the belts have gone. That's about as hard as it gets. Okay, so that's that. 
now I need to fly over and actually sort out the bot, the uh, the trains properly. Now what I'm going to do? How much rocket fuel have I got? I've got a decent amount. I didn't bring any rocket fuel for getting back. Oh no! I'm going to have to build it and make it up here. Oh, it's going to take forever. Oh well. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh nuts. I don't even know how I'm build making oil up here. That's how I'm going to be able to how I'm going to have to make it. But that is going to take ages. So up here, uh, you can have some. You can have some. You can have some. Did I give you some? I'm not sure. No, you're full anyway. Right. And is there another train out here somewhere stranded? No. No, but there is oil train down there. That needs to go via the depot as well. Think, have I got LTN set up for these properly? That's something else I'm going to check. Okay, I'm going to faff around on Tulip for a little while. I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, that was a bit of a fail. So I've now got this <laughs> little setup down here, pulling light oil off my um, system up here, down here, and turning it into rocket fuel, because, well, how else am I going to get off the planet? It was actually pointed out to me once this was about 50% done that I could have just summoned another rocket full of rocket fuel and got off that way. Um, <coughs> but I um, I didn't think of it until this was already part done. So um, we're just going to skip a gloss over that. Um, I had to ha pocket craft some the, these fuel refineries, and I've discovered that having two of them making um, making the solid fuel, feeding one machine with the um, making the rocket fuel, one machine making the liquid rocket fuel, it seems to be about right. At least when I shove productivity modules in these two. And part of the reason I shoved those in was because I was running out of light oil. Um, then I ran out of light oil completely, cracked all the heavy oil, ran out of that as well. And so I've now shoved in um, an additional tank to hold petroleum gas, because that was what was blocking it. If the petroleum gas fills up, you can't crack anything to anything else. And it just wasn't getting used up fast enough. So I've uh, now set all of these to do the standard three, three product um, fuel refining. And we've got a decent amount of heavy oil that's being cracked to light oil, a decent amount of light oil, and a decent amount of petroleum gas. So that's, yeah, working. <laughs> and it is gradually filling up my rocket down here, which is now up to almost 80%. Uh, so that's getting there, getting there. On a more positive note, all of this is now set up, and well, these, this ammunition for the anti-meteorite guns isn't getting built particularly quickly, but it is getting built quickly enough, and that's what matters. And I've seen these go off. We had a barrage of meteors, and these successfully shot them down. So that's yeah, that's good. My belt going up here with the coal on it is now complete, and all the trains are running on coal, except possibly that one. How are you? No, oh, can't see it. It's out of reach. I think I decided all of them were running on either coal or wood. Yes, because I went round and nicked the rocket fuel from those as well, because I was that desperate. <laughs> uh, so they'll go a bit slower, who cares. So as I say, 80% uh, done here. I've added, I've, I've put in an umbrella defence and a load of accumulators, and there are some accumulators down here as well from before. So that brings us up to 2.1 gigajoules, and the attack is going to be 62 gigajoules. So those, those numbers are just not even remotely related, <laughs> not even remotely comparable. So what I'm going to have to hope is that I can basically t get most, that most of it is going to be long and low and I can I can tank it from the um, from the turbines over here. We'll see how that goes. In worst case, maybe it'll block one or two of the mass ejections, one or two of those big columns of fire that come in, and then another one will come down and that'll miss the, miss the factory. So I'll maybe I'll get lucky. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so that's that done there. Back on Norvis, I've had a bit of a think about what I need to take up with me to Miokin, and I've come, my, my shopping list has now grown slightly to include rocket fuel so I can get back again. So I've got a belt coming up here now so I've got the bots to build while I was stuck on Tulip. So we're getting rocket fuel loaded up here and a load of solar as well, um, both, type, both um, solar panels and accumulators. Maybe I'll make that even more accumulators and try and build up some defences. Because I put an umbrella defence in anyway, even though I'm pretty sure it's just not going to be able to cope. Um, and then I've got the Meteor Defence installation as well. And I've got some chemical plants. And I believe I've got an enormous quantity of um, assembly machines in my inventory. I've got 50 in my inventory. So that's easily going to be enough to slap down another one of these 
setups. Um, so yeah, I think there's not much more to talk about at the moment. I'm just waiting for this rocket, to, this bloody rocket here, to fuel up, and it's it's getting there quite slowly. So I'll um, check back with you again in a minute when it's uh, when it's ready. In fact, I'll probably just fly back to Norvis and then fly off to Miokin, and uh, I'll uh, catch you there. Yes, it's finally full of fuel. So I'm gonna actually gonna cut this pipe here so we don't start wasting all of the oil on this planet. Um, so it's now disconnected from all of this. So this can carry on running as it was before. And I'm ready to head back to Norvis with um, a little bit of a smattering of stuff in here. So let's do that. While that's happening, all right, let's watch the let's watch the rocket take off. That's always fun. Back to Norvis once again on the, sort of the, fir the first step before I head off to um, he head off to Frost. No, not Frost. Mjokin. So we've not brought all that much stuff back with us this time. But I was looking at um, Mjokin, and there's some pretty big gaps in the stuff out here. Um, so looking on, on, on the uh, on the map mode, I, this is the first planet. Sort of this was the first base I set up on another planet. So I wasn't. I didn't really have the the design they've been going for down pat at this point so it's a bit it's a bit more limited all this is is this mine here for the uh, for the vulcanite a processing facility to turn into the this sort of processed vulcanite and a delivery can and then and then power and the basics of a landing pad and so on around here so i don't i don't have the sort of the ex, ex, big train network i've been using on other planets to bring stuff in i don't have um the process that's building up the delivery cannon capsules i don't have um, and i don't have of course i don't have the meteorite defenses or the umbrella defenses now the reason that's that's worked is because there's a huge number of um in fact there's eleven thousand um what do we call it? Delivery cannon capsules already in these chests up here, and that saved me having to go out and build up the the various types of mines. So there's a bit of iron here, not very much. There's a decent chunk of copper here, and there's loads of stone around. It's a very stony planet. But I've not, uh, but but because, partly because there's, there's no water, so I've not built a nuclear plant, even though there's a bit of uranium. There's no, there's not very much iron, so that's going to be a bit of a hassle. And to be honest, it's just basically worked, so I haven't felt the need to build up all of the other stuff. However, if I'm going to start using, um, if I'm going to start using the meteorite defences, then I would will need batteries, which means sulphur, and I'll also need iron and copper in order to make those, in order to make the ammunition for them. So it's going to be quite a big job to upgrade all of this and bring it up to the state where it where it has the um, the facilities to produce the to, to, to defend against meteorites and I'm sort of wondering if it's worth it I think I might leave this one at the bottom of the list I'm tempted to fire a rocket at it with some um, some more solar panels in it just to keep everything up to up up and powered because as you can see the oh it's night time night is falling so the power is dropping off let's have a look Um, it looks like things are basically running okay. I don't think we... Oh no, I take it back. At this point here, the accumulators have run out of power before the um, before the solar is kicked back in again. So there's definitely it definitely does run out of power overnight. So perhaps I should send out more more solar, more accumulate more accumulators specifically, and build up something with those. Um, but then if it stops working overnight, does it really matter? Why don't I? Why don't I just put in a few blocks of these? Because I don't have accumulators up here is the obvious answer. Um, yeah, it's just clearing up rocks. Because <laughs> I don't have accumulators or even power poles by the looks of it is the is the answer to why I don't just uh, do this. So I could send up a rocket with a load of extra power generation stuff, and and then just let the um, the bots build it all up and get it working. The slight problem with that is I believe this is all completely... F all of these chests are rather full. Um, yes, these are all completely full, in fact, which is uh, a little bit awkward. So the rockets won't be able to unload. I could actually make these into these. Do I have any of those? Yeah, I've got one more of them. <laughs> Great. So it's the, the problem here isn't so much going to be the... Well... 
I think at this point I can't really be bothered to build up all of the uh, infrastructure that's going to be needed to get this up and running. So I think I'll concentrate on other planets for a little while and, have, and uh, try and make, make sure I've got everything else working. And then I'll come back and have a think about it later at a, sort of, at a later stage in the game. <laughs> so that'll come oh, in, in a long time. But, well, let's see how things go until then. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.